I feel pumped right now, just ready to go out and share this with as many people as possible. Um, and I have been doing that. I've had a lot of opportunity because my, um, just in lots of different ways, my ID is still English, and so every time I'm at the cash register and I have to show it, they ask me, oh, England, and why are you here? And so, of course, ABM comes up. <laughs> Um, I've shared it this time at least five times um, in different places, and I, you guys heard my story yesterday, and I just want to talk about a promise for the future. Um, I promise to encourage um, as many people as I can to share this with as many people as I can, even if it's just planting the seed. Um, and I, I, I have something hanging in my... Um, living room that I read to my kids once a week <laughs> um, and that they like to point out to me when I'm not um, following this promise. But I, it really touches my heart and I, I feel like there's a lot of aspects um, about it that I want to promise in my own practice. And that is something that I didn't think that I would actually be doing, actually having a thriving practice. And now I'm just like, yes, I will have a, thri a thriving practice. Um, so I'm going to read it to you. It's actually entitled The Mother's Promise, but I want to take this to other areas. Um, I promise to come alive with joy when you enter the room. I want you to feel loved and celebrated. I promise to encourage you to dream big and reach towards possibilities. I promise to create, play, dance, and sing with you. Joyful, creative abandon will be valued. I promise to show up, be present, and truly engaged when we're together. I want you to feel seen and heard. I promise to practice gratitude with you so that you can feel joy and abundance in all things. I promise to prov provide a safe, nurturing home, and that could be practice, um, where you have full permission to be who you are. May our spirits be connected always. May you always know how deeply you are loved, how your life shines brightly, and how your heart is never alone. And I love that, and I want to uh, take the nine essentials, and I, I, I want to add to that, and I want to promise to use that in every way possible, in every aspect of my life because it creates change, and it's amazing change. I'm a completely different person. In fact, um, I normally need glasses to read that. <laughs> I don't wear my glasses anymore because they give me a headache. Um, it's my prescriptions changed. Um, I heard the, the thing go, so. <laughs> the end. Thank you.